For every person that's killed in construction, there are 100 times more that die as a result of ill health or disease that is caused by exposure in the workplace. On the 21st of January this year, we had around about 150 chief executives from the top uh, construction companies in the UK come together at the Royal Institution in London to talk about what we need to do around ill health. More than 60% of the chief executives in that room did not know what an occupational hygienist did. And if I'm honest with you, I think we've got a job to do as health and safety practitioners. This is an Airbus A380 and the reason why we show this, we ask the question, in a standard three-class configuration, how many passengers does an Air, Airbus A380 carry? The actual answer, if you're interested, is 525. If you were getting 25 of these falling out of the sky every single year, there would be a national uproar. Yet in construction, it is acceptable, or it is seen as acceptable, that that many people can die as a result of work every single year. If you work in construction in Australia, you are six times more likely to commit suicide if you work in construction than die from a fall from height. Yet again, the amount of investment that we put into that tangible prevention of fall from height compared to the hidden risks of psychological ill health is staggering. I've already mentioned health and well-being. It is a passion of mine personally, it is a passion of Crossrail, and I can start to see that that, that light coming within the industry now and the penny is finally dropping. We have to make best use of where we're at now and, and gather some momentum around health and well-being.